Hi everyone, what's up? Chat. Hola. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just gonna I'm gonna give you guys a second, let everybody get in. Uh if you're here, nice good day. Yo, what's up? How everybody doing? I'll just give it like I'll give it a minute and then we'll get started, okay? Is the sound okay? Can everybody hear me? Let's get started. Let's get started. Um, for those if you don't know me, um, I'm Tyree Saint, a member of Top Ten USA. Uh, I'm coming here to share my knowledge with you guys. Okay, and um, brought to you by uh, Alex Reyes. Uh, he hit me up. He wanted me to do, you know, a quick class for you guys. So I want um, really quick. Uh, let's start off. We're gonna warm up with some jumping jacks, but we're not just gonna do regular jumping jacks. Uh, we call this the jumping jack drill. All right. So there's four steps. All right, so the first step is you're gonna do a jumping jack, and you're gonna put one foot in front, then you're gonna do another jumping jack, the other foot in front, jumping jack, fighting stance, then jumping jack, fighting stance. All right, we're gonna do it for two minutes, guys, two minutes. I want you guys to try to catch your rhythm. You don't have to rush it, just take your time. Make sure you guys are breathing. Got a minute 15 left. Thirty seconds. Also, uh, if you guys have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. All right, I'm actively reading the chat. Uh, yeah. So the next drill, next drill we're gonna do is also a footwork drill. Uh, it's called left-right footwork. So we're gonna start off. So it goes like this. It's gonna be left. This is doing it slow. And right, left, left. Then right, left, right, right. And then if you guys get the hang of that, you can go on your toes. And you can do a little bit faster. So left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. And you're gonna keep going. All right, let's do it. Go. So left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right.
Right, right, keep going, keep going. It's important that you guys are breathing. Breathe. Make sure you guys are sharing the stream with your friends. Share the stream with your friends. Get them in. Get them in here. Let's get this work together, guys. 50 seconds. Let's get our sweat on. Get our sweat on. Twenty-seven seconds. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. All right, now what we're gonna do is you're gonna get into your fighting stance. All right, so really quick, um, really quick before we start, I want you guys uh, to know that footwork is footwork is super important. All right, so um, there should never be a point in a match where you don't know what your feet are doing. So we should we should always we should always make sure that we're doing our our footwork drills. So when we're in the ring, we don't have to think about what our feet are doing. They know what they need to do, whichever situation is given. All right. So next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna uh, gonna be in your fighting stance. You're just gonna bounce back and forth, just like this, for a minute, guys. Clear. Ready? Go. Keep going, chat. Keep going. You want to make sure that both hands are. Your front hand is out. Your back hand is up. If your back hand keeps dropping, grab your shirt. Three, two, one. Good job, guys. Good job. Remember, if you guys have questions, don't be afraid to put it in the chat. All right, next one we're going to do. Next one we're going to do is going to be in our final stance. We're going to be in our final stance. And you're just going to put one foot is going to go forward. Other foot is going to go forward. Back, back. Just like that. Be in final stance. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going. For a minute. Go. You never want your feet to be too close together because if it's too close together, it's too easy for you to get pushed over. All right. So keep your front. Um, keep your legs wide. Go. Thirty seconds, guys. Keep going.
Ten seconds. Good job, guys. All right. So now what I want to go over is. Who's that? Is that a man? But nah. <laughs> I just took my hair out a okay, day ago. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, you're gonna be in your fighting stance. Okay. The first thing we're going to start off with is a, sh is a short side kick. All right, just lift your leg up and throw your side kick. All right, so why we're doing this is this is for this is for people that we like to when we're fighting, we're fighting for we're fighting for space. All right, so we want to make sure that we're keeping our that we are controlling the distance. All right, so this is one of the ways I control distance. So I'll be in my fighting stance. There's no telegraphing. All right. So I'm not going to step before I kick. I'm not going to slide. All right. I'm just going to lift my leg up, shoot my side kick, and put it down. All right. It is not, it's not slow. It's kind of like a reaction side kick. So you want to lift your leg up, shoot your kick out as fast as you can to keep them back. When we notice that they're pressing forward, when we notice that they're pressing forward, that's normally when we do it, to tell them to back up. All right. The side kick doesn't have to score. Sometimes it will, but the side kick has to touch. Okay. So it has to touch something. Um, when we throw our side kick, we want to aim for center mass. So, so when we aim for the chest and we throw our side kick at a shoulder level, the reaction you're going to get is this. All right? The reaction that we want is to push them away. We are going to push somebody strong away um, with the side kick to the shoulder because um, their feet are still under them. All right? How we do that, we go for center mass, which is the hit, and we push them away and they'll go this way. All right? Instead of opposed to going up like this. All right? So you're just going to be bouncing on your own. I'm gonna shoot your side kick fast. All right, let's do it. Ready? So bounce. Hold on. Ready? Bounce on your own. Shoot your side kick as fast as you can. Aim at your belt level. Lift your lift your leg up and back. Shoot your side kick. You want to extend it all the way out. 35 seconds, keep going. I think that says, yeah, 30 seconds. Make sure you guys are breathing when you're kicking. So we're going to add on to that, all right? So we're going to add on to that, okay? So after, right after we throw the short side kick, right after we throw the short side kick, we're going to throw a slide side kick, all right? So the first one was to keep them away. The second one, we're going to chase them while I land, all right? So it's going to be side, side, okay? One more time. I'm bouncing, side, side, all right? So when you land for the first side kick, position yourself Position yourself to throw the second kick, okay? So, side, side. Ready? On your own, guys, on your own. Side, side, and then back. Side, side, and then back. You want to make sure that your front hand is out. Keep your front hand, keep your hands up. 30 seconds. Stop. Stop. 20 seconds. Keep going, guys. Keep going. And girls. Next kick we're gonna add on to it is a skip side. Alright? So, so it's gonna be side, slide side, skip side. Alright, so really quick, I want to go over how I throw my skip side kick. Okay? 
So normally when you throw a skip side kick or what I see when people throw a skip, skip side, they'll bring their back leg to their front leg and they'll throw their side kick. All right, so how I do it is I like to hop. All right, so how do I explain it? So normally when I'm in a fighting stance, I lift my leg up or when I want to throw a slide side kick, I lift my leg up and I shoot my side kick, all right? So I want my feet to be in that same position when I hop. All right, so I'm gonna hop and then the, the position that I normally am in when I throw my slide side kick, that's the position I want to be when I land. So I'll do a little hop and then I throw my side kick, okay? So I'll be here, side kick, all right, just like that. So I'm bouncing, side kick. All right, let's just do that for now. We're only gonna do 10. All right, so everybody hands up, we're only gonna do 10 and then we'll add everything together. So bounce, when I say one, I want you to do a little swat, hop, kick. Ready, bounce, ready, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. All right, so really quick before we start, before we add everything together, um, the importance of uh, the way I do my skip side is for, it's just in case, if we're, we're, we're not covering distance with our skip side kick, all right? Most people, most people will, they'll either step in on your, on your skip side kick or they'll wait for your leg to drop and then they'll throw the body punch, okay? So, the, if we're not covering distance, if we're not covering distance, then we, we aren't covering the space for them to be able to attack us. All right, for, for instance, I'll use the Donaldson's way back. This is, <laughs> for instance, right? So if I'm in my fighting stance, right, and I throw my skip side kick, the wave master is my opponent, okay? And, I, and if I throw my side kick, my skip side kick normally, I'm covering this distance for them, all right? And I can't defend myself if my feet are together, all right? But um, as opposed to if I am in my fighting stance and I, and I do my hop, it's the same technique. I'm just covering less distance, all right? So instead of being here, instead of being here, I am here or the equivalent of being here is here, all right? And if my sidekick, if my sidekick is already at the chest level, all I have to do is extend it, all right? So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna add everything together. So it's gonna be side, slide, skip side, okay? So side kick, slide side kick, skip side. All right, let's do it. Ready, go. Side, slide side, skip side, and back. Side, 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 skip side. Also, when you do when you do a little squat, is you get much more power to push off of both feet than you just than as opposed to one. Okay. Side, slide, skip. Side, slide, skip. Ten seconds. Remember, don't be afraid to ask questions. Nice. All right. So the next one, everybody should know, <laughs> it's a de de defensive side kick. Okay. So it's going to be side kick, slide side kick, skip side kick, plant, D side. All right. Let's do it. I shouldn't have to. Go over a defensive side kick. Um, everybody here should know what the defensive side kick is. All right, ready, get ready, chat. Go. 
The whole thing. So side kick. Hold on, I'm sorry. <laughs> I messed up. So side kick, slide side kick, skip side kick, plant, B side. And keep going. This is a giant one. Side, slide, side, side. Make sure you guys take your head away when you throw the defensive side kick. Nice. And the last one is spin a side kick. Okay? So, We're gonna do jump spin side kick, actually. So, how I do my jump spin side kick is I'm gonna be in a fighting stance. Um, all right. So it's the opposite. It's the opposite of the way I throw my skip side. Okay. So when I do my skip side, it basically is me bringing my back foot up, but I'm hopping while I do it. So I'm going here. Okay. But we're gonna do the opposite of that. We're gonna bring our front leg to our back leg. Okay? So we're gonna jump, put our front leg where our back leg is, and bring our knee up. Okay? So find a sit. So it's gonna be hop, switch. Alright, and then we're gonna go side kick off of that. So, boom. Make sure you got spin on your heel. So one more time. Boom. Okay? Um. Let's put it all together. All right. So it's gonna be so the whole thing is side kick, slide side kick, skip side kick, D side, plant plant, spin side. All right. Let's do it. Last one. Last one. Ready? Go. So side, slide side. Skip side, D side, spin side. Side, slide, skip, D side, spin side. Side, side. And for the stomach, guys, with the, with the spin side kick. All right, what we're going to go into now, what we're going to go into now is something that is very important, um, is fakes. All right, so I'm going to talk about fakes. Uh, there are plenty of different fakes. You can get creative with it, but um, why it's important to fake, really quick. Uh, it is, it's important to fake because faking gives you a reaction. When you fake, you expect a reaction. All right, so... It's kind of like them telling us that they were going to do this, all right? So at the highest level, it's very important to fake. So the first, the first fake we're just gonna we're gonna work on. We're gonna be bouncing. Actually, we're not even gonna do that. <laughs> so there's gonna be yeah, there's three fakes that you guys should know so far. Okay, so there's three three fakes that everyone should know. <laughs> so it's high fake, three fakes. You're gonna do high fake, middle fake, or low fake. All right, you could you could mix it up however you want. All right, so when when you guys are doing the fake, you want to make sure that you're making the sound. All right, because uh, if you're if you're sometimes all right, as I'm gonna put it, all right, I'm getting a little crazy, but uh, sometimes you don't even have to move your body for it to be a fake. Okay, so all you have to do is you have to give up the illusion that you're faking. All right, so how how you do that is. If you fake at somebody constantly, right? 
and you're making that noise, if you go ha, 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 if you just, if, if you subconsciously, what, what, what you implanted in their brain is that every time you make a noise, that, that you fake that noise. All right, so now if you're standing still and you just go ha, right? If you go high, you stomp on the floor, then they should still, they should still give off a reaction. All right, so that can also be a fake. So you can do your high fake, your middle fake, your low fake, and if you, what you can do is you can stomp on the floor, pat your chest, and just say ha, okay? Or whatever noise you're comfortable making, okay? So on your own, you're just gonna keep faking. Ready, go. Bouncing. Ha. 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 You can mix it up. You can put two on one. All right. So you could go. Ha ha. The importance of, I mean, you want to make sure when you fake also that you're getting in and out of somebody's face. So you want to take your front leg. You want to get in their space and out of their space. We're leaving our back foot. We're leaving our back foot where it is because once we take our back foot, um, our back foot with us, we've made a commitment. We've made a commitment to go forward or we, yeah. Basically, we've made a commitment to go forward. All right, and that, that's, that's our one step. So you one step into some ice space where we make that commitment that we're going to attack, okay? So keep going. So keep faking. Ha, 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 ha. Nice, good job, guys. All right, now, uh, now what you guys do is we're going to, we are actually going to be making the commitment to go forward. All right, so what that was for is to roll over into some blitz setups, run at. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but uh, so now we're gonna do is we're gonna take our back leg with us. All right, so everybody has watched, um, I mean, or played Mortal Kombat. Um, it's kind of called a dash. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your, I'm not sure if you guys can see. What's up, Blake? So what you guys are going to do, you're going to lift your front leg up. All right? It's a, it's a, slight, it's a slight lift. All right? You're going to lift your, your front leg up, and you're going to push with your back leg. You're going to push with your back leg forward. Okay? So it's going to be lift, push. Okay? So lift, push. But when we push, when we push, we want to make sure that we're either planting to go forward or planting to go backwards, all right? So how we do that is um, when we throw our defensive sidekick, um, our foot is normally like this, right? Before we throw our defensive sidekick, we're leaning back, we're leaning back and we're getting ready to throw our sidekick, all right? Hold on. Yeah, we're leaning back on our back leg and we're getting ready to throw our sidekick, all right? But what you're gonna do is you're either gonna go forward and you're gonna plant get ready to blitz, or you're gonna turn your back foot that way to be ready to throw your defensive side kick or throw your jump back backwards, okay? So you're gonna lift, push, plant, all right? Or the other way, lift, push, plant, okay? Let's do it. And Let's do it. All right guys, let me see it. Ready, Find it. So it's gonna be, um, Let's do it for no time. So we're gonna break it down. So it's gonna be lift, push, plant. I'm gonna go back. Final stance. Lift, push, plant. All right, we're gonna keep going. Ready? Okay. So lift, push, plant. And back. Ready? Lift, push, plant. One more. Let's do one more. Lift, push, plant. All right, so now I want you guys to do it on your own for two minutes. Um, one minute, actually. Go. Bounce. So push, plant. Emphasize the plant, guys. Emphasize the plant. So push the plant. You guys have. 
have any questions, just let me know. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now I want you to add your um, add your blitz. I want you to add your blitz. Or I want you to add your side kick or your jump back back fist. All right. So if you plant this way, take off and throw your body blitz. If you plant the other way, boom, throw your side kick. Ready? Um, not fucking house, but go. Also, I just want to add a tiny pause, okay? Add a small pause, small pause. I'll explain after, but keep going. Nice. All right, the reason why we want to add a small pause is you want to, um, because remember, because remember, it's the same thing. It's the same thing as the fake, it's just that we are, we are making the commitment to hit them. Okay, so the reason why I'm saying um, add a pause is because you don't want to you don't want to just you don't want to just do your um, do your dash and then just keep going because you're going to run into their reaction. All right, you wanna you wanna give them a second to to react, settle down. You gotta give them a chance to react. So what will happen if you fake at somebody to go like this and then they'll put their leg down slowly? All right, um, during that vulnerable moment of them putting their leg down slowly. That's when we're attacking them. All right. So that's why you want to pause. You want to give them a second. You want to give, give them the second to to calm down, and they're still not realizing that you're in that you're in their space. All right. And that's when we'll hit them. All right. So it's gonna. So one more time. Dash. Pause. Blitz. Okay. I want I want us to do that one more time. Okay. One more time. One more time. Actually, no. So instead of going forward, now we're gonna go backwards. All right. So you're gonna dash backwards. So dash, and remember we're still planting. We're still planting. So we're either planting our foot, we're either planting our foot this way, or we're planting our foot this way. All right, to throw our defensive side kick or whatever. All right, so we're gonna go back now. Bouncing, boom, blitz. Okay, ready? As a bell, guys. Go. So. Going back, flip. Boom. Boom. Nice. Go through the motions right now, guys. Go through the motions. And pick it up. So, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, I went the wrong way. That way. <laughs> boom. Make sure you guys take your body with you. Make sure you take your body back. Come on. All right, really quick. Uh, really quick. This this can be a counter to um to somebody um dashing at you. So what you do is remember we're fighting for space. So if they can't come forward, so if they can't cover that space then they're not going to be able to hit you. So if somebody wants to dash at you and you dash back, 
we're still we're still the same amount of distance, um, the same amount of distance we were before you dash. Okay, and also, if they do decide to follow up after you dash back, you still have that space, that space that um, you had before. They didn't cover any distance. All right, so you have plenty of time to react to throw your defensive side kick and to throw your turn back back this. Okay, all right. So one thing I want to go over. Uh, one thing I want to go over is progression. Okay, so a lot of people, a lot of people really don't, um, a lot of people really don't um, understand the concept of progression. So let me explain. It. So if somebody, if somebody was to, if somebody was to hit you with a body blitz, right? You're the next exchange. You you go back to the line and you're like, I just got hit with this body blitz. Now you're you know what to do. Okay, um, you're either gonna hit them. You're gonna counter. You're gonna counter their blitz. Whether it's a defensive side kick, whether it's a jump back back fist, whether it's a counter, uh, whatever you got. Okay. So the next step to that progression. Um, so say so say for instance, say for instance they decide to counter with a jump back back fist. All right. So what my next, what my goal will be is after after I've gotten hit, I, I threw the blitz. Right. I scored. They countered my blitz the next exchange with the jump back back fist. So now, my, what I'm trying to do is I am going to I'm going to dash into that space, wait for them to get in the air, and when they land is when I'm going to hit them. All right. So that would be the third step. All right. So now the fourth step, the fourth step would be after, while I'm trying to dash at him for the second time, he he meet me with my blitz. All right. And then you just keep going, you keep going on and on and on. All right. Until the until the time runs out. All right, so uh, just in case you guys are wondering what would be the fifth step, uh, what I would do is I would dash forward with the intentions of them coming forward, and I'll meet them with my side kick. So I'll dash forward, and then I'll throw my side kick. All right, but but what we're gonna work on right now is how oh, I I don't really know. <laughs> I want actually I want you guys to be aware that there is a progression. All right. So the the there will be kids on the sideline watching uh watching people fight and they'll be wondering uh, how did he know he was gonna throw this or how did he know he was he was gonna throw that. Alright, normally it's because they are they're aware of what's what's going to happen next, what is the next adjustment for the next exchange. Alright, and sometimes sometimes the progression starts off at different spots. Like not every progression uh, in the beginning of the fight is going to start off from me blitz you and I, the next exchange, I blitz you and you defend, and so on and so forth. All right? Sometimes it can start at the top. Sometimes it can start at me dashing at you first exchange to wait for you to jump up, um, to jump up and land and then me uh, blitz you or, or higher up. All right? So I, I want you guys to be aware of that, but um, now I want to go into a few kicking setups. All right? So the first kicking setup, um, we're gonna throw our side kick. All right, we're gonna slide forward, throw our side kick. It's kind of the opposite of what we did. Um, it's kind of the opposite of what we did with the side kick, the slide side. So it's gonna be side kick. It's gonna be slide side kick first, land, and then throw your side kick. All right. So what this is for is for people who like to blitz you when your leg goes down. All right. So if you throw your slide side, you wait, and they come forward right after your leg drops, you hit them with that that side kick. All right. Let's do it a minute. Go. So it's gonna be slide side kick, plant, side kick. Alright? So side, side. Side, side. Side, side. Keep going, 40 seconds. Come on. Come on. Two seconds, guys. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Hold on. <laughs> What's up, Yaku? <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. Nice. Alright. 
So the next cricket setup we're gonna go over is um we're gonna throw a side we're we're gonna fake a side kick. So we're gonna we're gonna lift that leg up in the side kick chamber and then we're gonna throw a roundhouse kick. Okay? But but before we throw the roundhouse kick is I want you guys to be aware of I want you guys to be aware of how somebody defends against a side kick. Alright, so normally somebody will either want nothing to do with your side kick, so they'll completely disengage from it, or they would or what they'll do, they'll put their wall up and they'll take the side kick. Okay? So we are going to we are going to be working with that specific situation. Alright? So after we throw, after we lift our leg up for the side kick, for for after we lift our leg up in the side kick chamber, they're gonna put their hands here and we're gonna go over the shoulder with the roundhouse kick. Alright, so the roundhouse kick isn't gonna be a traditional roundhouse kick here. We're going to our, our roundhouse kick is gonna be angled down. So it's gonna be side kick chamber, angle your roundhouse kick down. Kind of like Kodak slingshot kick. Okay? I don't know if you're in the chat Kodak, but this. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna angle your roundhouse kick down. Okay? So it's gonna be here. So side, round. Alright, so we, we are envisioning the person going like this to, to our side kick, trying to take the side kick. Alright? But the side kick isn't gonna hit and it's gonna go over the shoulder and smack him in the face. Alright? Let's do it. Ready to go. Make sure you point your knee down. All right, I'm going to do some more talking. <laughs> so, uh, when we I also want you guys to know that there is a there is a kicking progression, all right? There's also kicking progressions as well as punching progressions. So if I hit somebody with a side kick, they're not gonna get one. They're not gonna want to get hit with the side kick the next exchange, right? So what they'll try to do is maybe they'll try to check my leg, and this is the perfect opportunity to throw my side side to throw my side round, okay? All right, but another thing I want to touch on is. Everybody in here, all, all 59 of you guys, uh, pretty sure every one of you guys could tell and know that I'm, I'm not a kicker. All right, so um, I'm not a kicker, but every time I lift my leg up, I want to, I want to, I want to do something with my leg. All right, so I may not throw, I may not throw a lot of kicks. But um, you want your percentage, your percentages to be high. All right. So every time you, every time you lift your leg up, it's hitting something. Even if you're, even if you're not a, even if you're not a kicker, a uh, your opponent should should be worried about your kicks. Okay. So the next the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to do a uh, side kick chamber hook kick. Okay. So it's gonna be here hook kick. Okay. So one more time, you're going to bring your leg up into the side kick chamber and you're going to throw your hook kick over the top. Alright? Let's do it. Go. So you're bouncing. Boom. Nice. Sometimes you can mix it up on how many times you slide. Sometimes you can slide twice. Um, sometimes you can slide once. So you could go, you can slide once and go here. Boom. Or you can slide twice and go here. Boom. Okay, it depends on it depends on um, how you gauge the match. All right, it, which one you need. So, oh, oh. Yeah,
Um, all right, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do fake acts. We're going to do fake acts. Around. You're going to do fake acts. So you're going to fake your leg up going this way, and you're going to throw your roundhouse kick the other way. Remember, the roundhouse kick is still going, get it angled down. Okay? So, so it's going to be, um, you're going to lift your leg up kind of like a front kick. So it's going to be boom, boom. Okay? One more time. Boom. So, so uh, what the goal for this for this combination is we want to get we want to get the person we want to get the person's wall to a different side of their body. All right, so we're going to be in our final stance. You're going to so if you throw your um your if you fake your axe kick or your hook kick or their hands are going to go this way, which leaves the other side of them open. All right, so that's what we want to imagine. We want to imagine that their arms are going in a different direction and they get smacked in the face on the other side. Okay, let's do it. Ready, go. If you want to, you can um before you even start the kicking setup, you could you could lift your leg up, just be bouncing your spot and you just lift your leg up. Alright, for them to know. And then this will be a fake. And it'll go on the other side. So boom. Big round hook. All right, so you're gonna lift your leg up in a roundhouse cham chamber, and you're gonna throw a hook kick to the other side. Hold on. All right, we're gonna do roundhouse kick. We're gonna fake the round and throw a hook kick. So it's gonna be round hook. And put you like that. All right. So. Keep going, Jack. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. we're gonna do uh, last set of uh, last set of drills we're gonna do is we're gonna go for some blitzing setups all right so we did we did this one where we dash forward and we draw a blitz we also did the one where we're going backwards all right so now we're gonna do is we're gonna go um we're gonna start off to our um open side all right, so what you're going to do is you're going to step to your open side and throw your blitz. All right? So you're going to be bouncing. You're going to step. Body punch. All right? So one more time. When we step, when we step top, to our open side, we want to make sure that we're planting. All right, so we're going to plant, and then we're going to take off the dog blitz. Okay? Bouncing, plant, blitz. Go. 
So, oh, oh. remember, you're blitzing, I mean, you're blitzing on an angle because we're stepping off the angle. So instead of our opponent being in front of us, our opponent should be right here. Okay? I don't know if I showed the same thing. So here, and then when you step off, it should be on the angle. Okay? Ready? Boom. Step. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So we're gonna step back, we're gonna step back, and we're gonna throw a body punch. But it's kind of it's kind of weird to be going um to be doing a body punch from this angle. So I want you guys to go and throw your back fist. Okay. So you're gonna step here, head body lift. Okay. Uh, the reason I'm saying that is because you're gonna be you're gonna be facing their back. Okay. Unless you want to punch around them, uh, but just go straight to the head. All right. So it's gonna be boom, head, head. Okay. Two head punches, two head punches. Alright, so boom, head, head. Let's do it. Go. seconds. Remember we're still blitzing on that angle because we're stepping off the angle and now they're in a different spot. Fifteen seconds. Alright, so, all right, so uh, as concluded um, our seminar, uh, I want to thank Alex um, for having me. I uh, appreciate it. And also, uh, if you guys if you guys want private, I'm available. Just hit me up. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you got, I got it. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can put it in the chat right now. I'll give you guys like a minute or so um, to put your questions in the chat and and I'll be out of here. What is this? It's okay. <laughs> Alright, so Yeah, me. Okay. All right. Talk to you guys later.